and play with the common languages. And if you have never touched computer in your life, that's okay too. Don't sweat it. You know the nice thing about this um, command languages that we're gonna learn today? It might be boring, typically, but guess what? The excitement is when you use those command languages and you see results. To me, it is exciting when you see results. A little history for me was some years back, um, probably almost 25 to close to 30 years ago, really. This was the era when, you know, 1990, maybe 94, 95, if I recollect well, something like that. But anyway, this was the era of, uh, you know, um, most people then were using command line, line. If you could use the command language at that time, honestly, you were like the cream of the cream in the world, in my opinion, right? It was so big a deal. So anyway, so my brother then um, is my, you know, I call him my mentor, my hero, right? And he was doing a program with a multinational. And every day when he leaves for work, you know, he was serving with computers. Then there was a game, for those of us that are gamers on this call, the game is called Doom. You know, I was just an addict of that game. And I used to use like the cheat code for that game to kind of, um, cheat to kill all the bad guys, you know, anyway. But I spent the whole day playing that game. Every time, just playing the game. I was so horrible that all I knew was the game. I could not even shut down the computer. So if I need to shut down a computer, I will call my younger brother and say, you know, hey, bro, come on, shut down the computer. I knew the game very well, you know. Oh, the funny thing, <laughs> I'm glad I'm sharing this thing. Uh, because I just noticed my younger brother, I just joined this, you know. But anyway, so, you know, I was so horrible at, you know, at playing this game that even to shut down the computer, I'll call my younger brother, he's on this call now. And he would have to be the one to shut down the, you know, computer. Then my mentor brother, right, he came in one of those days and he looked at me and said, you know, he said in my local dialect that, you have a gold mine with you. Don't you use your brain to do anything else than to just sit down playing game. You can't even freaking shut down the game. You have to get your younger one to shut down the game, right? So, you know, I kind of typical, I was defensive. I said, well, it's not your business, whatever, you know, what? You know, I kind of um, got defensive about it. You know, I felt insulted. Now, fast forward, he left for work the next day, right? Then, those words eat me so crazy. I was kind of thinking that, wow, you know what? I may not like this guy's words, but they sure hit the nerve. Then I went back that same day. Um, to me, tonight is a deja vu of that day for me. I saw um, Microsoft, they had some command languages and I started looking at those command languages and I started reading it, going through those command languages. Honestly, they made no sense to me. It was horrible. It was just command language, right? But guess what? The more I put those language code in, and I started seeing results. That was a turning point for me because I said, wait a minute, I have no clue what I'm doing, but it sure works. I put the code in and it works. So to me, that was just excitement for me. It changed everything. I think it's my foundation in IT. It gave me that confidence to say, you know what? It's not a big deal. There's nothing we cannot learn. So I'm challenging you, if you're on this call today, you might say to yourself, wait a minute, am I sure whatever I'm gonna learn today is for me? Don't sweat it at all. Just have fun. Tonight, I want us to just have, because sometimes you'll be surprised, some of you on this call, if you hear the word being a programmer, you might run away and say, oh Lord, I don't want to be a programmer. Guess what? Nowadays, writing program, some little program is not as sophisticated like before. A lot of things have been simplified, okay? So now we're not writing programming, okay? We're just going to use command languages. If you have seen my um, I've shared some documents with you all. So everybody on this call, I believe should have access to the PowerPoint. 
um, by the show of hands, if you have access to the PowerPoint, and just a quick housekeeping, typically, guys, if um, anytime we're on the call, we have this icon called reaction under your button, you'll see it there. Um, do me a favor and just um, raise your hand. Excellent. Or give me a thumbs up. Excellent. 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 You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. All right. That shows how it works. Excellent, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I feel free to also click it to, um, to go down. You can also feel free to do it. Just let it go down too. Excellent, guys. Thank you so much for doing that. Thank you, everybody. All right, cool. So what I'm going to do is, you know, we're going to work for like 10, 15 minutes together. Then we would have like a breakout section whereby everybody would just go in as a team, put some command languages together. Then as a group, you would explain like two command languages that you played with and explain it to the larger team. We just select somebody within your group that would explain it to the larger team. But let me get started, guys. I'm going to share my screen. And let's just have fun together, guys. Um, hopefully, by the time you leave here, if you see people, you know, getting fancy and sleep with playing with Windows command, you just smile and say, "Come on, dude, it's not a big deal." You know, I mean, all right. Let me share my screen, guys. Now, let me show you this, guys. And this was presented by my, you know, our flagship program, one of the teams there, um, the Orange team. I think one of the lead on that project is also on this call. Yeah, Mr. Lau, thank you. I give you, I give you guys. So you guys are awesome. So this is uh, a product of uh, uh, our, in our flagship program. Fun stuff, guys. I mean, we all love it. But let's get started. Let me show you guys. So this is introduction to basic Windows command. These commands will be things that you guys would, by the next 10 minutes, I can assure you, a lot of you will just start smiling and saying, all right, not a big deal. This is simple stuff. Very easy. Let me show you a screen so that you guys would, um, you know, just enjoy this. So if you have Microsoft, um, any of the Microsoft products, what you notice is the screen. If you guys see my screen, um, let me see. Can you guys see the screen? There's this little magnifying glass under here. Do me a favor. Click on that magnifying glass and type the word CMD. When you type the word CMD, you will see a black icon pop up. And let me show you guys on my own screen so that you see what I'm talking about real quick. So if you see my screen here, I'll just come here and type CMD, okay? Do the same thing, you'll see command prompt. Do me a favor, click on open, and you'll see a screen like this. If you have this screen, just let's do the normal drill, give me a thumbs up. This screen, give me a thumbs up. All right to the world, thank you. <laughs> if you have this screen, give me a thumbs up. All right, I see some people already. So let's take it again. Go to your Windows tab. There is this small magnifying glass. Click, let me go back to the screen. You guys will see this. Can you see this magnifying glass on your window here that I'm sharing? Click on CMD. Once you click on CMD, this window will pop up, a black window like this. If this has popped up, give me a thumbs up. Everybody that has theirs up, give me a thumbs up. Let me see. I need more thumbs up. If I move quickly, more thumbs up. All right, if you are using Microsoft um, Windows, it's very easy. All you need to do is go to your Windows. You will see this icon here. Can you see this magnifying glass? If you don't see the magnifying glass, go to your search and type CMD. CMD. CMD simply means command, and you will see the screen pop up. If you have it, let me see your thumbs up. All right, if you don't have um, tell me you don't have it. All right, I can see a lot of people who have given it. Um, over there. If you don't have it, let me know you don't have it. If you have it, let me know you have it. All right, all right. Okay. Okay, so 
quite a number of us have it. Okay, let's move on, guys. All right, so the ne next thing I'm gonna do is, you, you guys can see my screen already. If you can see my command li line, just let me know. And what I want you to do is just, let's play this game together, okay? The first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put some commands to just get you a little bit excited. Let's start with the command that says directory, D-I-R, D-I-R. So can we all type D-I-R together? Once you type D-I-R, let's go D-I-R, D-I-R, put slash W in front of it. D-I-R slash W, then click enter. Enter on your laptop or desktop. Mm -hmm. If you have this information, let me know. And listen, everybody, you're not gonna get the same thing I'm getting. Your own system is different. We're just playing around, just playing with command. What this does is, it's gonna show you the files on your computer right now. Of course, we have our Windows, the way we do it is different, but this is just to show you a shortcut way of doing it from the back end. So let's take it again. If you are here, let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you are here. If you are here, give me a thumbs up. Somebody raise their hand. Okay, let's see. All right, let's, let me see. Um, all right, thank you. I can see some thumbs up. All right, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for the thumbs up. All right, somebody raise their hand. Let's see who raised their hands. Okay. All right, let me unmute. Okay, go ahead and speak. Somebody raise your hands. Some of Yeah, I got it now. Thank you so much. Yes, I got it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you. All right, excellent, guys. And guys, don't worry. Don't sweat it. I know some of us might not get it straight, but don't sweat it. Let me take it again. I'm going to just pretend like we're going to start again, okay? So this is what you get when you go to CMD. If you've not been, um, if you've never tried this before, let me real quickly walk you through again. All we're trying to do, guys, ladies and gentlemen, it's straightforward and easy. What we're trying to do is we want to play around some backend in which we can do things in our system. Some other things you start doing in a few minutes, you'll be surprised that, wow, this is fancy and really cool. You guys will see what I mean. But I want to start with a simple one and keep it simple. All you need to do is go to your search bar, which is this icon here. You see that search bar where we used to search things? Just type CMD, CMD. Once you type CMD, CMD means command prompt. Click enter. This black screen will come up. Don't worry, your system is not spoiling. It's just a screen for command language, okay? Then type DIR slash W. You can put slash P also. W just makes it wide. P would keep it in long, um, like your regular letter format. So if you notice, DI, R slash W, the same directory you have on your normal phone, you will see there. You can also type DIR slash P. The P would kind of alter it in like a letter format. That's all it's doing, really. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. So um, somebody has a question. Um, give me a few minutes if you don't mind. Um, we would address a question. But let's take some other commands. That's the first one. Now, after you've put this command, let's do something fun. What about we clean it? Let's put, let's clear all this information. Type CLS. Can we all try that together? CLS will clean everything again. CLS will clean everything. All right, Samuel, go ahead with your question. Let, let's take one question. Go ahead, Samuel. No, I lowered my hand. Oh, I got thanks. for the same, sir. Got it. Yes. Awesome. All right, got it. Okay, welcome, everyone. All right, so. Um, you can see the screen clean here. Um, that's very straightforward. Let's do the same thing, everybody. Just clean your screen. Now, let's take it a little bit deeper, guys. Now we're going to go into some little technical fun stuff. Um, we do cybersecurity work, right? My team, myself, we mentor in cybersecurity. We train application security, network security, GRC, which we do right now. A lot of fun stuff. Um, this is one of the areas we mentor and train our folks. Why it's important, very important, is sometimes you will see people that their day-to-day -day job require them to be running commands. But let's keep it a little bit fun for you guys. I'm going to change our commands to something else. 
Now, can you guys see all these commands here? I'm going to make you do something real quick. I want you to take the first one, host name. I want you all to type as the name, type host name and click enter. Then tell me what you see. You will notice something, everybody. You will notice something. Uh, a lot of you will notice something. It's showing the name of your system. Did you notice that? Let's take it a little bit deeper. Type system info. And I'm going to put it in our chat so that you guys can just cheat and copy it if you want to from our chat. If you got it, okay, somebody said I'm lost. Oh, we don't want to be lost. Okay. How do I do it? Please, I'm lost. All right. Oh my, you're tired. Excellent, sir. All right. So let's take it again. While others are figuring this out, system info. All right. Let's, um, oh my, you're tired. Okay. So what you do is simple, sir. Um, you go to your window screen. There's a small icon that we use to search. Yeah, can you see my screen? Oh my, if you can see my screen, give me thumbs up real quick. So I know I'm with you. Just let me know. All right, cool. Now, what I want you to do, sir, is you go there, type the word CMD and click enter. CMD, then click enter. Okay? Once you do that, sir, you will see this screen here. This screen allows us to do so many things. So let me clear so that you can see. I'm with Omoya Tayo now. You'll see a screen like this. It's not going to have my name. It will have your own name, OK? So don't worry. So what you want to do, let's start. Put the word DIR slash W, OK? That will show you all the files on your current system. It's going to show you all the files on your current system. Then I also say, let's clean it. You can put CLS to just clear everything, okay? It has cleared everything. And we're gonna take it a step further. I said, everybody on this call, do me a favor, type system info, system info and click enter. Then you tell me what you notice. I want you guys to start typing what you notice when you put system info. Tell me what you notice. This is very exciting. Um, let me take, um, okay, on my attire you had, okay, let me, okay. Go ahead and ask a question, Omaya Yeah, um, good evening, sir. Um, good evening, I'm a, yes, sir. I'm using my laptop, so I don't know where to type the CMD. This okay. is my first time, I'm sorry. If, I'm All right. if you're on your laptop, you would notice yeah. there is a small, can you see my screen? This small round search icon. Can you see this thing? Here? Yes, yes, sir. Find it and type CMD on it. Type CMD, C as in Charlie, okay. M as in man, yeah. D as in David. Then click yeah, enter. Okay. Then you will notice one black thing comes up like this, right? It's actually taking me to Google. Oh, maybe you are using, are you using Chrome? Yes. Oh, you're using Chromebook, right? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm sorry, if, uh, I apologize guys. If you're using Chromebook, I'm not sure we can do it. It has to be a regular. Oh, okay. Windows and don't worry around. Yeah, okay. it does a window, but yeah, that's the problem. Sorry. Um, okay, Thank let's go. All right. Um, so for the for other folks, quick one for you all. Um, what did you notice when you type system info? I want to get your feedback real quick. Can you type it on the chat real quick? Tell me what did you notice? Memory size, host name, excellent. I have the same problem. Sorry, if you are using um Chromebook, you will not be able to view it. Sorry, guys. Um, device information on wallet, excellent guys, excellent. Hosting, manufacturer name, configuration name, excellent. System if Now let me tell you guys, anytime you're on a call or you want to check your system setup, a lot of us sometimes we're trying to figure out, well, I have a laptop, what is the system setup? What is the IPA requirement, IPA V requirement? Like um, Yemi stated here, whatever you want to type in, with that command, it will pull all that information for you. It makes your life easy. Are we together? So at the minimum, guys, if this is all you take away from this class tonight and say, you know what? I have a short way of going to see all the information about my system. Take it as one of your tools going forward. Remember that one at least. Remember system info. 
you can type it in there. Now let's take you guys to the world of security a little bit. I'm sure my security guys will like that part of it. So sometimes in the world, we are security folks, right? But this is still fun for all of us. So you can start seeing things yourself. You want to. Sometimes we do what we call pinging. Pinging means I want to see if I can test and see reach a device, okay? For example, you might decide I want to ping google.com. Most of us use facebook.com. So let's do it together, guys. Let's have fun. Let's mess with Facebook a little bit, everybody. So go to this command line and type ping, put space, one space, then put facebook.com. What that is doing is that you're trying to see if you can reach facebook.com and we transfer data through what we call packets. So don't worry if you lose connection, that's okay too. But all you're gonna see here is that you're trying to check if you can reach facebook.com, okay? So that's what you're doing, you're pinging, P-I-N-G. Um, if you've done that and you have some interesting um, output from it, let me see your comments. Can we all do ping? space, facebook.com, you can do google.com. Somebody said pink statistics, exactly, that's what it is. Yeah, thank you, Lala. Yep, did we, did we type in CMD? Well, we don't need to type CMD again because, yes, Doccas we type CMD to get to this black screen. I love this, somebody copied their information and their details of what they saw. Excellent, Bera. Oh, Sister B, awesome, yep, you're right. Ping in facebook.com, yep, excellent, yep, yep, that's good. Let's see somebody else, Florence. Yep, Lola, seven, packet sent, packet received. And guys, the nice thing about this, all of us in our homes, we have information that is being accessed on our network every day. So really what you guys are doing is at the back end, you're actually thinking what's going on within your network at home right now. That's what you're doing, okay? But you're using your windows that you've been using every day. So now when you use it in the future, Relax and think through it and say, wait a minute, guys. Huh, I can do way more than just um, checking mails with this computer I'm using right now. All right, let's do another one that is kind of very funny. Um, let's do, um, let's try, let me see this command. Um, let's try, okay, can we all go to host name? Host name, okay. just type in host name and you see what it brings out. Just say host name. You will see the name of your, you know, so mine says desktop, HP, Jow, J1. Let me see some people's information, type it in. Well, don't type that, that's confidential. <laughs> host name, yeah, but you know, if, if you see, just give me thumbs up. If you see host name, give me thumbs up. Host name, give me thumbs up. All right, awesome, 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 awesome. Host name, desktop, yep, I can see that. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so what I'm gonna do next, any other one that we did not touch, I'm gonna make us work in smaller groups so that we can talk through it as a group together and potentially just, you know, I'm gonna copy this to the group. We've talked about a few, we touched ping, we touched host name, we touched um, system info. I want you all to type those commands in your respective group. And I will do that in the next two minutes. Then we have fun with that. Um, just play with it. Make sure in your group, you can easily be part of that conversation real quick. Let me just type it. I just typed it to everybody. So let me make us be in a group. And the commands have been typed in there. We can just work as a group. All right, do we have a question before I make us work as a group? And what I want you to do is simple. Don't overthink it. I put the command languages there. Just type some of those commands. If you have questions within those commands, the takeaway everybody is, I want you to leave this session, it's a short one hour session I gave, and be able to say to yourself, you know how to go to Windows to run commands in Windows, that's it. Guess what? All of those commands are in Google already. 
It's not like we are doing anything out of the ordinary. So just have fun doing it. All right, let me do like a quick mini group and um, let's let's do like a breakout room. Let's see how many. I just do like a quick one that you guys would just choose one or two people to, you know, one person to just talk through the command you guys worked on. Don't complicate it, just have fun doing it, okay, guys? Um, all right, let's go. Thank you. But yeah, talk I, about people that know Linux. We don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just get the uh, command, the ones he stated, so and see if we can get just click on it and offer. Uh, can somebody remind me how to clean the this? What was the command? Is this CLR or what? CLS. 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 Yeah. CMD. I, 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 how can I share that on the computer? What's, they are separate. <laughs> okay, if you're on the computer, right there where we're talking, underneath it says share, share your screen on screen. You can just click that. I'm a little bit confused. Sharing on the phone. I'm, I'm watching the class on the phone. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can get another computer. I have a, I'm talking on the Mac. What are you sharing this screen? Uh, I don't, uh, who is sharing the screen right now? Who is uh, going to be sharing the screen with us? Well, Let me try. Yeah, okay. try. Just share your screen. Let's see. I'm trying to do it. I was away when he was doing that. Can y'all see it? 
Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, so what are we working on? What Let's command? Start. Let's start with the last one, which is... Uh, yeah, I think you might want to get out something of full. Okay, what? tell me why don't you share. I'm not wrong with that, bro. Trust me, that's what I'm I'm going to type in the command. All you got to do is type it. Or I'm going to type it in the chat. Okay. Oh, well, you can just spend it out. You see, you see that? Just kind of paste it. We're talking about the trace set, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know any command to work on. <laughs> so, yeah, so yeah, basically this is used to uh, like for troubleshooting and tracing. It traces the routes, the data packet takes for reaching its destination. So what? that's why when you put it like that, you came up with an error. You need like a uh, like a website or something. What command do you just Can put? You explain that again? Trump, I haven't put in any command yet. I'm just like, okay, let's just work together. What command should we put on here? Put to trace at T R A C E R T. I have it in the chat already, the name. Okay. okay. Good. Excellent. And it's actually in the chat. You're right. Yes. Oh, so okay. it, it, don't overthink it, guys. Um, you know, you're not cyber people. Until I thought that I've done cyber. <laughs> the idea is to know that when you put this command, it gives you an output, right? So, which is pretty awesome. Um, let's try now. Let's try. Um, post, put post. I have one already. Next start. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Please put that one. Put next start. Yes. That's a good one. What? Next start. Yeah, yeah it's on the chart. I can assess the chart from here. N E T, then start. N E T start. No, no. The web would have come to to um um to Google itself. So that that way the computer will really understand what it means and it can easily assess it. So I don't know if anyone has any question though. That's perfect. I'd like to connect with you. You're so, <laughs> you're so knowledgeable. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Because yeah. you're so awesome. Super smart. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm like, uh, okay. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. That is so brilliant. You're welcome. So, do we have any other command we want to try? I think there's one that um, we can also look at that. Um, I don't know if that will be going to. I far, but... leaving. It didn't even allow me to start with them. It just fell asleep. I was carrying. Okay. So being a team. Now it has. Ah, stop. It says you have three physical um three physical drives. You have the um. Yes. Uh yeah. So it's it's showing like you know the kind of drives and media you have in your computer uh but but the ip that's that's basically oh, oh oh please stop sharing your screen please oh please stop sharing your screen please i just noticed that we're seeing a lot of your information please please can you stop sharing please oh can you can you please close that off thank you so okay. much i'm so sorry thank you okay thank you oh god i was so scared <laughs> okay Lucas. Yes. You, you, I think you you make a very good FBI agent. No, I just I, yeah, I, I think security is it's really very smart. Thank you for doing that, actually. 
Yeah, Even I was scared as well. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Welcome, Mazi. That's our godfather there, Mecca. Welcome. Thanks for yes, joining. Yes, yes. He's part yes. of our, our group also. So <laughs> yeah, we are so blessed to have him. So Emeka, we have a breakout session with people just doing small labs around. Very good. Um, this is a way to progress. We are going to progress no matter what, you know. It's, yeah. it's, it's time to be better than last year. We, we must yes, be better. Yes, so sir. thank you for what you're doing very much, Joaquin. Oh, man, thank you. you you're Everybody awesome. who's in here, you are here for a purpose and you are going to go places. Trust me. Trust me. Uh, we also hope to see you guys um, on Thursday. Um, I've just finished doing the, um, uh, what do you call this? The uh, pre, pre meeting for, this is for mental health and some of the symptoms, what happens, how we can see each other and diagnose mental health. It's very, it's, it's gonna be a very good topic. It probably might be emotional, but you need to know this so that you can move forward, okay? So just FYI. I'll, I'll let you to speak. In the big group, in the next, uh, please hold on. I wanted to talk about it. Okay. In the next, just give us five minutes. I'll join you to the bigger group. Okay. You need okay. To please, please. Just hold okay. on. Okay. Yeah. Hold around, please. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Before we did this already, we did this before. Yeah, system info. System info. I said, so really it's, uh, you just want us to play around with this to see that we can actually pull something out. Yeah, exactly. Does anyone have any question with the little minutes we have? We have some experts in the house. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions? Looks like everybody out from. I guess so. <laughs> Let's go back to the main room. Thank you, Yemi. And everything you see here is courtesy of Yemi and his team. So no, I have to just, just said it. I'm not, you, I'm not hosting. You guys are amazing. You guys put, you put the mojo, the, the expo for us all. <laughs> amazing. Everybody. Welcome back, everybody. Um, if you had fun, can you give us a thumbs up? Amazing session. If you had fun, thumbs up, please. Give us a thumbs up real quick. If you learned something new, if this is your first time play, playing around and it's something new, exciting for you, just give us a thumbs up. Excellent. The goal and the intent was, we know you're not going to be a developer overnight, some of you, but the minimum, we all know that this is not a big deal. It's a command language. At the minimum, remember system info, you can pull information out. And I want to give credit to Yemi Salau, his group put this together. Let me unmute him and just thank him. Orange team, go orange team. You guys are super awesome, awesome, awesome. awesome. You know what, let me, let me cause a little riot here and just unmute everybody for a second. Don't get mad if I you know, pull you back. Um, let me unmute everybody for a second just to embarrass him a little bit. Uh, let me see how I can remove this. Unmute everybody, allow everybody to unmute themselves. All right, let's unmute ourselves for a second and just um, acknowledge and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was a team effort. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. All right, awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Kabiesi. <laughs> All right, before we, you know, I know it's, um, you know, there is one of our big mentors in our midst today, and I'm excited to have him here. 
Uh, let me tell you about this uh, man, really. You know, um, I, we don't just use our platform loosely. We are thoughtful about our platform, the people we bring on board. He's a visionary. He genuinely wants Africans to be successful. Um, he has a platform that is so dedicated to helping us in so many areas. Um, in getting investment projects, buying landed property, getting CPAs, getting investment, what to invest in, real estate opportunities, um, putting together funds as Africans to get assets. The way we have our Asian brothers and our Caucasian brothers pull together resources to build apartments. Amazing, amazing initiative, you know, that he's been doing. And this platform, every Thursday, they, they share amazing insight. I don't miss it, to be honest, anytime. At the minimum, I always spend, you know, the first one hour before I jump on my own platform, I'm always on that call because it's one of my source of getting solid information and inspiration. You know, we've been friends for a while and everything it stands for is similar to what I believe. So, you know, without further ado, I would like to unmute my brother, my friend, Emeka, to just give us some words of wisdom and encouragement about the platform, the upcoming things coming up also. You know, over to you, brother. Thank you, sir. Thanks for all you do. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, uh, my name is Emeka Iluka, just in case for those of you who don't know. And I have, um, I started this out of anger because I found out that a lot of things we don't know is because we are not coming together to know it. It is our duty, it's nobody else's duty to know. And because of that, I found myself being almost duped by some, some, some other race, you know, um, Asian people, you know, it's in the Asian area. It doesn't matter who they are, they are taking advantage of the system. We should too. We should have the knowledge to come together, network, and be better. We cannot accept this thinking of, you know, I just want to make $100,000, $200,000. We also have to have a way of networking with each other because what you know and what I know might be different. In most cases, it's different. Another thing is, if you are finally looking for a solution for a problem, it might take you a whole week before you find that solution. But if you share it with me, it might take me one day, right? You probably didn't think about it that way, but we tend to always stay in our corners, not relate information. And what happens? When you stay in your corner, most times you're always in your corner. There's no need for that. It's good to be treated truthful. It's good to let people know that you need help in certain areas because that's how you get better. You might need help here, not knowing somebody could help you there. And you try it out and you become better there than the person who brought you in. But it's giving yourself that chance to improve with your fellow Africans. We cannot wait for white people to keep doing stuff for us day in, day out. They, don't, they are not the only ones who know it. We know it. We are going to give ourselves a chance. Not just that. We are coming in as a selective group, okay? It's not for everybody. Right? There are some people who you know who go to the club, drink, be useless for the whole day. And you know when you're trying to tell them visions, they, they cannot see because they don't know how to see. So it's not for them. It's for people who want to progress and do a better job and get them better. So um, every Thursday, we try to bring in guests to help us be better. Um, you guys have seen the shooting going on in uh, well, around the country, you know, and it's made a lot of people have um, this scareness of dropping your children to school or just doing anything that pertains to being a sociable person because you're afraid you may go somewhere and somebody will shoot you, right? So we want to avoid that from ever happening to us by making sure we know some of the symptoms and how we can help our children alleviate that pain. So Share my WhatsApp link. Uh, yeah, uh, I think Jimmy probably hooked me up with that. Okay, I think my, my wife joined in. So she's, she's doing that. Okay, so we want, so this Thursday, you are going to learn about what depression is. Schizophrenia. Um, so many other things, I'm forgetting the terms. Uh, okay, 
But you need to know these things because when you know, then you could diagnose yourself. Part of it is, you know, getting loud, getting angry too much, you know, not trying to go out or be a jolly fellow anymore. But you don't know you are doing it until when someone tells you, then you notice. And how you can make changes, this, the, the, the follow up, how you can solve this and change your habit. You know, there are different ways you could do it, but you need to have the power to know, but not just that. Have a personal one on one with the person doing it. There's another sister like us, okay? She will answer any questions you have so that you will know you are not lost. You, don't, you, you should be in the comfort of your house and be able to ask questions rightfully. You deserve that. And I think that's what we are trying to do. You don't have to drive to the hospital and ask a question to a guy who's looking at you because they should have you for several minutes and get you out. No. Now we are demanding that we get better by our own people. They're going to talk to us and make us feel better, think better, but communicate. So in our platform, pretty much anything you're looking for, you will find it there. The point is just ask. If you don't ask, you will get it. Okay. So we are getting better. You have questions asked. So that's the whole thing of what we're doing. And I'll tell you this. Akin has been a great player in this. And whatever he's telling you, trust me, he's leading you through the right direction. You hey, know? Can you talk about the website and, you yeah. know, just okay. sort of... Yeah, so we also, <laughs> it's, it's a lot of things going on. I, I really can't talk about all of them because there's too many, so I may not remember. But I want you to know, if you are, let's say, aiming for doing a better job, transferring jobs, doing something new, let's say you're coming from nursing you're trying to get into IT, or you're coming from accounting and you want to get into IT, that's good. But all, always remember that you have to have the ability to have side jobs. Side jobs are jobs that you can easily do without even thinking too much about it. You're not going to school, uh, you're, not, you're not waking up early for anybody to go to work or nothing. You are in control of it. You should learn how to do it, so we teach you that. But also, if you are a small business, and what does the small business mean? You one person who wants to be better than what they were last year. We have a website where you could, for free, come and put your complimentary card, a business card. Just send an invite, we'll put you in there. So people who need to have information about who does staffing for here, who does the best cooking, who is the best IT guy, what kind of IT do I want to get? Because every IT is different. So, so Akin is very good with cybersecurity, this, which is where the world is going, right? Now, sometimes you may say, okay, I want to try something else. Then you may go to people like Brian who will diagnose you on what kind of IT you should be focusing on because it will help you depending on what kind of time you have. These are all found in our website. So you need to know this. And this is free information. Again, it's free information. Right. Yeah, Emeka, yeah. just to add something, guys. Yeah. One of the things, you know, uh, the energy Emeka brings excites me. Let me give you a practical example. <laughs> um, in the city of, um, you know, Melissa, it's one of our, you know, largest city in Dallas, in Texas here, right? Let's take yeah. pride in Collin County too. Yeah. Collin County, you know, rich county, right? We're excited about that. Guess what? The mayor, there was a mayor race. Guess what? We brought all the candidates for that race to our platform and they had to pitch why we should vote for them. So yeah. our goal and vision is not just, you know, we want to influence politicking on things that is relevant to our community. We are not Democrats, we are not Republican, we are nothing. Right. We're just focused on our interest. So it's not about party line really, you know, it's about our interest. Which of these candidates would represent our interest as you know, Africans in general, we are proud Americans too, you know? So you have to represent our interests and we need you to, you know, so those are the kind of things we've seen in this platform. So, I mean, amazing, amazing job they are doing really. So, you know, join us. Um, I'm always part of it too. Life is not just about IT. I'm an IT guy, cyber, you know, that's my own vision. Mm -hmm. Everybody has their goal. But mm -hmm. I love America's vision. Likewise. Um, yeah, Mr. Lau, we've been, you know, fraternizing together on a vision whereby 
Because at the end of the day, guys, our vision is very, it, life is about design. It's not an accident, period. Uh, you know, my platform, I focus on leadership a lot. My folks are not just technical guys. No, I don't. Because the way you can make impact is if we can make decisions too. So, you know, so that excites me about what Emeka is doing. So I just wanted to find oh, yeah. there because that's also important. Yeah, we are going to get into different things. I want I want people to know, do not limit yourself. You should be limitless. If if what we are saying here is not tasty enough, it's because you have to go through the penance, meaning you have to go through the route of making yourself better. You have to take that journey. Okay. At the, at this point, you cannot just think everything is going to be easy. Take the journey with us. Now there are other things you could do. We are very good with real estate. We don't go in there to cheat anybody or anything. We tell you the whole process, the truth, the truth, the truth, and why you should decide on creating a five-year plan, a 10-year plan. Why? Because five years is going to come. Regardless of what you say, it's going to come. So how do you get ready for it? Because when it comes and you're ready for it, you will just sit down and smile, right? You want to do that. You cannot just say, okay, let's, plan for the rest of the week. No, 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 no. Rest of the week is there for five years. So I will tell you what you guys should think about today. Where do you think you will be in the next five years? Are you still going to be making the same money you are making this year five years from now? Because if that's the issue, if that's the case, there's a problem. You have to improve every year. Do you have good life insurance, right? Have you fixed your credit? What power do you have? Who have you come together to start making million dollar deals? Okay, forget the hundreds of thousands. One be million dollar deals. I'm saying five years from now, or close to it. If you don't know how to do it, then you join us. Let us help you. Because we cannot be the only ones enjoying this money. Yami cannot be the only one. Okay, we've, 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 we've done most of these things. We know it's possible. It just requires you to refocus your mind, change some of your habits, and I'm telling you, it's going to work because Nigeria is not an option. I mean, Africa is not an option. Okay? We are staying here and we're going to be better. Okay? Yes, sir. But I want to thank everyone for uh, giving me the chance. Um, we hope to see you guys. Uh, the link is here. You could join African Expert. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. You need to be there to educate yourself, but also your family members. There are people who need the help. You're doing IT right now, but it may not be for them. But if you show them the route, put your hand in there, ask questions, these guys may help you. And you'll be okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Can we all give it up for Emeka and Rhoda, um, the queen also? Let's give it up for them. Thank you. You're all, <laughs> you're all are super well, awesome. We'll see you guys on Thursday, okay? We'll, we'll talk about our mental health, okay? Thank you so I much. Thank you, yeah. brother. I appreciate that. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, let's look forward to another Super Tuesday next week. <clears throat> And you know, I I promise you we're gonna make it an exciting topic as always. Thank you so much, Emeka. Thank you, you all are awesome. You know, and please, if anything, feel confident. Impossible is nothing, guys. Have an open mind, just keep moving forward. Enjoy it. Godspeed, guys. Love you all. Take care.